five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is the Ramble. See that name? That's Alex. And I'm Alex Bennett. We're here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time as the uh, coronavirus continues to ravage America. Okay? Uh, I'll tell you, uh, um, I am not... We've been over the last... um, Three or four weeks, I guess, we've been monetizing this show. That means that uh, I allow uh, YouTube to put commercials on before my program. And it's become a real battle, okay? Because uh, every now and then uh, they say, and it's almost every night, uh, the show could not be monetized because it has material which may be upsetting to certain advertisers. Uh, okay. What does that mean exactly? So then I say, okay, well, I want a review. And then I request a review, and nine times out of ten, after they review it, they go, oh, it's okay. Well, you see, what happened was is they had a machine that was listening, and when it heard certain key words or certain key things out of context, uh, it made a decision, and so I had to ask for a human being to review it. And I would say I would say nine times out of ten, once it's reviewed, the show goes through. But I'm t- I'm sick and tired of doing that. Okay, it just you know it, it just completely pisses the hell out of me off. Kind of thing. In fact, I don't. And so I decided as of tonight uh, not to do that. Okay, not to do the. Uh, uh, kind of the, the the the, the fact, whole the whole so thing, good. okay, uh, to put the advertisements on there. Hold on a second, that. I got to turn okay. this off. Come on, it's, I don't. I, oh, I don't. Uh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, all right. Uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. I've got a mute site. Okay, now I can go with it, so I can see the picture here. Okay, so you're not going to get a commercial before the beginning of it tonight. There are a couple of reasons why. Number one, I'm sick and tired of this whole monetizing thing. And quite frankly, it's not worth my time or my effort or the grief that it gives me personally. Because so far, let's see, how much have I made in a month? I think a little over $10. And sometimes it goes up to $10.90 and then all of a sudden for no reason at all it goes down to $10.50. And then it goes up to $10.85 and then down to $10.60. And I don't know what they're doing over there and I don't care but it ain't worth 10 bucks a month to me to run commercials before this program. So you will not see the, uh, an advertisement before this program. Oh, wait a minute. One is running, and I told it not to. Son of a bitch. I actually told it I didn't want it to, uh, let me see, I didn't want it to be monetized. And there, it's monetizing. Son of a bitch. I didn't want it to. Okay, well, let me see here. Okay, well, you know, uh, I can go over here. Let me just see here what's happening. What's happening? Why didn't that monet? Why? Why? I turned off monetization. It, oh, it's it says on. Well, I turned it off, so I'm going to turn it off now, so you don't have to see commercials, and I don't have to deal with those asshole motherfuckers, cocksuckers. See, I can say that now uh, because I can get monetized, all right? Because I don't care about getting monetized. Um, And there's another reason why I did. I got uh, got an email today from, not an email, but a, you know, Facebook message from Tommy Amaguchi, who's a fan of this program and listens on a rather frequent basis and calls infrequently. And um, Tom, who's an old friend, Wrote to me, and he well, I'll read you what he said. Hold on a second, let me find it. It says here, okay, uh, Tom Amaguchi. All right, here we go. 
Here we go. Uh, it says, okay, question, do you have any control over the advertisements? In fact, I, I think I can show you this while I'm talking it, okay? I can actually show you what he wrote. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, question, uh, see, you can see question right here, right there, okay? Uh, question, do you have any control over the advertisements we see on your YouTube channel? I turned on the ramble last night after finishing a Zoom meeting about 8.30, my time, and the stream started with an ad for the Epoch Times. They are a pro-Trump propaganda outlet that is putting a conspiracy they call Spygate. Snopes has been investigating the media empire that runs Epoch Times, and more information can be found below. And I read it, and I also looked up Epoch Times, they are a Chinese organization, and uh, they uh, apparently uh, what they're doing is they're, uh, you know, making a big deal out of uh, uh, going against Trump, and they're spreading all kinds of lies and things like that. You see, that, that's what I'm saying about monetization. They are worried about the programs their advertisers are on, that the, the program might have material that doesn't make them happy, but they don't vet the actual advertisers, and that's why we had our last uh, election hacked like crazy. It's just because of this kind of behavior. So to hell with you, uh, you big jerks over there, you two. Uh, and I'm just, I, I'm not going to put up with this having to monetize anymore. I, I don't care. I don't need the 10 bucks. I'll cash in the 10 bucks and go out and... Oh, wait a minute, I can't go out. I haven't left the house in uh, eight days. <laughs> no, nine days. This is the ninth day I haven't been out. Hmm. Hmm. Furthest I went was down into the lobby to go check my mail. That was it. So anyway, Marjorie's been going to the store like at 7 o'clock in the morning, and there's nobody there. There's like one other person or two other people there. And she can keep her distance, and she wears her mask. And when she comes back, she literally, she throws all her clothes in the, in the washer, and uh, she then goes and takes a shower, okay? So we're, you know, we're, we're making, we're, we're trying to keep ourselves from getting all flued up, okay? Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So to hell with uh, YouTube. I, I don't need the monetization, and I don't like the fact that they're running ads of this nature before my program. Okay, now I haven't seen that one running before my program, but I have seen other stuff that runs. But tonight I specifically asked it not to monetize and it automatically started monetizing, so I had to turn that off. So now if you go there and you start up again, you won't get the stupid damn commercial that's in there. So anyway, we have this, uh, this whole uh, 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 flu running around, and uh, you know what's interesting is I was telling you the other night, and I mentioned this last night, but I, for those of you who didn't hear it or didn't get across to you, um, what I did was um, I was really, I said to myself, gee, you know, I got went and got my, you know, the seeds implanted for the prostate to do away with the cancer, to help get rid of the cancer. And I said to myself, boy, I really dodged a bullet on that one because had I waited a couple of weeks to do it, they probably wouldn't be able to do it. So yesterday I get a call from uh, my doctor's office because a month in I have to have a CT scan to make sure all the seeds are in the right place. It's not a diagnostic thing. and It has nothing to do with whether I'm well or not well or whatever. But it does have to do with uh, just looking and making sure the seeds are working all right and, you know, that it's not affecting other organs. and it, it, But basically, it's just for their edification, all right? So uh, um, I was supposed to do that in oh, about a week. And uh, she called me up and said, well, I wrote her and asked her what's going to happen with that. And she wrote me, and excuse me, my nose is itchy. It's just itchy. I'm not picking it. It's just itchy. Uh, I have an itchy nose. Always had an itchy nose. Anyway, where were we? Okay, so um, she says to me, she says, well, they'll call you in about a week from the hospital and make an appointment for you to do this. Now, if you don't feel like doing it, 
because of the current coronavirus scare and you don't want to come to the hospital to do it. Uh, and, you know, who knows what by that time, maybe the hospital will be so inundated with things and people and so on that you won't be able to do it. She said, but she kind of indicated the CT scan section isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to be affected by the influx of people into the hospital. Boy, my nose is itching. God, what is that? I hate that. Anyway, you know what it is? Because when you, when you get older, you don't grow any more hair on the top of your head, but it starts coming out of your nose, and then you got one that's, uh, that's just kind of sticking out there, and it kind of goes like this, and then your nose itches like crazy. Anyway, so she says to me, so if you don't want to do it, then you, go, you can wait a month or so and, and, and wait till this whole thing kind of subsides a bit. And I went, good, that'd be, that's, that's, that's fine. I said, is, it, is there anything dangerous with me not doing it within a month? And she says, no, there's, it's just purely diagnostic, nothing for you to, to worry about. And then I said to her, you know, I really feel I dodged a bullet because had we had not done this when we did it and we had to do it today, that I wouldn't be able to get the operation to get the seeds implanted. Now, these are radioactive seeds, by the way. They are, uh, I'm, I don't have a glowing personality now. Anyway, um, and she said, um, she said, no, we'd be able to do the procedure. She says, we, we have the use of operating rooms and so on, and we can still do the procedure if we have to. The problem is that because of the whole coronavirus and everything being shut down like crazy, we don't have the radioactive seeds to put in you. And I said, so I did dodge a bullet. She said, you surely did. Okay, so anyway. So I'm on my way to good health, and I just hope the coronavirus doesn't come along and ruin all of that. Okay? I'm also thinking that maybe I had it. Because I remember about, maybe was it two months ago? Two and a half months ago? And you may remember it, because I always gripe about being sick and so on. For about two weeks, I had a cough going. Uh, I was just coughing and just uh, 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 the chest was kind of hurting and kind of tight and so on, a little trouble breathing. And uh, I went to the doctor and he said, uh, I would bet any amount of money you got it's allergies. Let me, let me just test your heart because he does a little thing where he it's a echocardiogram where he tests my heart to see if it's okay and he says your heart's fine he says it's probably allergies and he said uh, just take uh, some antihistamines or whatever and I tried and that didn't seem to help and it kept going on for about another week after that and it didn't seem to be resolving itself and then all of a sudden one day it got better and finally, after a couple of days, it went away. But it lasted for a couple of weeks. And I don't usually get these things for a couple of weeks. And I'm wondering if maybe what I had was the coronavirus before anybody really knew that it was, uh, it was having a big time. And Marjorie, by the way, was having somewhat of a similar problem during that period of time. So who knows? We may, we may have had the coronavirus and it may have resolved itself. Uh, I really don't know. Oh, boy, now my nose is dripping. My nose has been dripping all day. It's allergy season. The pollen is so bad that you walk down the street and you can actually see the pollen falling on the ground. So what are we going to do about this whole uh, um, uh, coronavirus? Um, I got to tell you, every day at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, I turn over to MSNBC, or I can turn to CNN, or I can turn, actually, I think, turn to Fox. I haven't noticed whether they're running it or not. But every day, Mar uh, uh, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of the state of New York, has been giving these updates uh, and telling you how it is today and how the numbers have gone up or how they've stayed the same or you know, how many masks we have available, or hey, I went and got found some masks somewhere. And it is so refreshing. You know, you watch it and you come away and you go, well, you know, uh, he isn't giving me a rosy story. He's not telling me everything's going to be, you know, candy and wax lips. You know, um, he's telling me 
what I believe to be the truth about where we are in all of this. And then he kind of, in his lecture towards the end, always says something very positive about the way we should act in all of this and, and how we're New Yorkers and we can weather anything. And he really gives a pep talk. And it's a very refreshing pep talk because he has a very human quality about him. And all of us, you know, even uh, myself, who is, I think in my time, I've been a critic of, uh, of, of, uh, of his, uh, not particularly a big fan of him uh, uh, as, uh, as governor. Uh, uh, and I don't know why. I think maybe, maybe he said something once that I didn't like or something like that. But boy, he has sure won me over in this one. And he started to win over a lot of other people, too. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, this is a Twitter page. What does it say there, folks? Draft Cuomo. Ta-da! <laughs> and everybody's getting the feeling, hey, we really should probably draft this guy because he's... Um, He's terrific, and he's uh, doing all the right stuff, and he's he he's he's acting presidential, you know. He's acting the way you expect a leader to act in order to make you feel better about stuff, and uh, just uh, just really just terrific what he's doing, and I uh, uh, I just am. Um, uh, um, you know, I just uh, I, I, I think he's doing a wonderful job, and I think most people feel the same way. And so now everybody started this draft Cuomo thing. Now, I believe it or not, I don't think Cuomo would want to be drafted at this point because I think Cuomo would tell you, listen, I've got a job right now to get this state well and get rid of this plague that we've got hitting the state of New York, and I've got to deal with this. And I'm not about ready to run for president. You know, that's that's not my intention right now. And I'm I'm I, I would say in four years he would be a very good possibility to be a candidate if there isn't a Democratic president. Today our president, you know, then our president goes on does his six o'clock at night briefing, and it is so bad, and it is so embarrassing. Uh, I mean, the guy can't even read a script in front of him. And then if he wants to ad lib, he even ad libs worse than he reads. I mean, he is terrible. And there's no confidence that's engendered in his uh, in his uh, actions or no or or what he's saying, and it looks like everybody around him looks upon him like he's a he's a cockroach who's just spouting off and then they got to go in and and try and save the day by telling, giving you some reality. I mean, I never thought I would be relieved by seeing Mike Pence say something, you know. So um, th that that's what's been happening with Mario. Mario. I keep calling him Mario because his father was Mario, and I'm so used to that. Uh, but that, uh, you know, it, it, it draft uh, Cuomo, not a bad idea. I don't think he would do it. And quite frankly, he's got a much more important job right now than president of the United States, and that's governor of New York and saving lives and working on our behalf, and he's doing a great job. And uh, I take my hat off to him. Oh, wait a minute, too much glare. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go to the uh, Pajones. Uh, let me see here. We, we say the phones. These aren't really phones. This is Skype we use. And let me bring up Skype. It takes a little while, though. For some reason, I, I've got a very fast machine here, but Skype takes forever. Oh, it came up really fast tonight. Well, what do you know? There must be something wrong with it or something. Anyway, I am now active. Okay, so you can call if you want to. And let me turn this down so that when the first person rings it isn't going to be um, noisy uh, okay let me see here and I'll get this ready to go so anyway now you can start calling folks um, we are we are ready oh, there we go here comes Phil here comes Phil Phil's always the uh, usually always the first to call sometimes he's not but 
Uh, last night he was in the top spot, and uh, there he is again, ladies and gentlemen, right there in the top spot. Hello, Phil. How are you this evening? All right. I'm, uh, I'm kind of fearful of what's going on. Uh, I, I, I went outside, and I saw these figures kind of being led by animals that uh, were on leashes, and they were, they were dragging these zombie-like characters around, you know, but they were by themselves. Uh, nobody was close to one another. It Wait, was... Uh, oh, Vernon, uh, hold on a second. I'm, I'm trying to get all these people going here. Well, so uh, okay. just keep talking. Yeah, you you were gonna go for some kind of joke. I know that. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. we're 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 probably not gonna laugh at. So why even waste your time doing it? It's going on in parks all over the country. You know, these these small animals leading zombie-like critters around. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, here. Oh, there we go. They they come out of their dark holes and. You know, and they're led by animals. I, 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 is there a joke there somewhere? I don't know what you're getting at, Phil. It's a, it's kind of a story. Uh, it's kind of a story about what, in particular? About the, the zombie people that forage out of their houses every once in a while, uh, and they're being led by dogs. You know, small dogs. By by small dogs. I, I see. I have no idea what you're talking They're about. They're going crazy. They're going stir crazy, you know, and uh, that's the only time. I'll tell you, I'll out. tell you, when you have to explain a joke, it isn't worth telling. Well, that's because you, you're a Democrat and you don't get jokes. I mean, you have no sense of humor. For a guy who made his living in the, in the humor business, you're, you're really short. Now, what am I supposed to have a sense of humor about right now, Phil? What am I supposed to have a sense of humor about? The zombies being led by dogs. Huh? There's, it's like Walking Dead. The zombies, they're being led by little animals on leashes. Uh, you, anybody, here, of, anybody here want to laugh at all? Um, instead of uh, us. Yeah, instead of us walking the dogs, the dogs are walking us. Yes, uh, uh, we're supposed to stay inside. It's an excuse to get outside. The only joke I ever heard like that was that... Uh, if Martians came from another planet, came down here and saw us taking our dogs for a walk and picking up their poop, they'd think they were our masters. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, they okay. are. Now, you see, I got a laugh out of that one. Well, that, that's because you pay these guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where's my check? <laughs> right. Hello, Vernon. Gee, we haven't seen you in a while. Vernon Dunn, ladies and gentlemen, my 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 prostate cancer pal. Uh, yep. Yeah. I've been out walking with my dog today. Yeah, yeah. Where, uh, where you live? Where again? You're in um, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. How is it down there? You are. Is everybody staying indoors? For the most part. I mean, there's still traffic out on the main roads, but not as heavy as it has been. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I look outdoors, and man, I got to tell you. It's it's yeah. empty out there. It's just Our like the governor is saying uh, as of eight o'clock tomorrow night, all non-essential businesses must close. Uh, uh, must close. You've got for yeah. some reason you're breaking up a little bit, and I don't know why. Because you got to be. Uh, what what is that you got around your neck? What is that? Is that your? That's, uh, that's my headphones. That's your headphone. I see. They're, they're probably Bluetooth. They're probably and, Bluetooth. Uh, yeah. There's a little they are. breaks up a little, a little crackling, but not bad, not terrible. I've got a video of you. I don't know if I show this to you guys or not. But this is funny. This will get a laugh. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll see the one. That you have a choice. Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child? B. I can't. We can't hear it. Can't no. hear it. No, we don't get it. Yeah, no, okay, well, uh, uh, I skip think it. about my little skit. Huh? <laughs> you are going to be quarantined. Which choice? Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child, or B? <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah. I yeah. You, 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 the only thing is your audio is breaking up a little bit, Vernon. I don't know why. 
Picture's nice and sharp. The picture's nice and sharp. Yeah, I shouldn't have any problem that way. My nose is itching tonight. Let me go, let me go grab some uh, uh, some wired headphones. Yeah, why don't you yeah. do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that probably will be a better idea. Uh, it, wired is always better than unwired all the time, and in, in, even in TV. You know, we have the wireless mics and all of that. Yeah. Half the time you get yeah. interference and whatever, we, and they always brought wired mics with them. And we preference always was to use a wired mic if you could, you know, because they have a tendency to, they don't have a tendency to break up and do all they kinds of things like that. Yeah. Other uh, electronic things. Yeah. It's uh, it's not getting any better here in New York. It is, I mean, it's like a ghost town out there. Even today during the day, I had a camera was running it on Facebook uh, called the you know live from the uh, from Armageddon, and I showed the street and you could see there were car, some cars going up and down, but man, when it came to uh, 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 anything else besides the cars, um, it was it was a whole different deal. I mean, it just there's nobody there. I mean, even the cars there weren't that many, but. Uh, it was. It's just. It's. It's. A, it's like a ghost town. Uh, this is the city that never sleeps. Well, guess again. You know. What's, <laughs> what's your weather like there? Here, it's really cold. Oh you know, well. I, well, the I, weather's been cold, but it's been. Well, yesterday it was very nice and sunny. It was beautiful yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Ninety-three I, degrees in Austin. Yeah. How yeah. Are you doing, Bree? In Malaysia, you're in the Kuala Lumpur, and you've got yourself quite a deal going there too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and and Vernon gets to share a video, but I don't. <laughs> well, oh, from the other well, day. you saw how well it worked. <laughs> huh? Yeah, saw how well it worked. Mine yeah. was of a woman sneezing, and then she gets shot, and everybody sprays Lysol around, and they go about their business. It was very um, fun. It was yeah, ice. It was and very it was shorter, and you didn't need audio because it was visual. Um, we yeah it's the thing that's also getting me here is we have a whatsapp community group i think i've mentioned this before whatsapp and the, yeah yeah and the, the dog owner guy across the street uh, i thought it was his wife because his wife's name's on there but it, then it turns out it's him because he does voice there are all these people who want to be amateur newscasters or you know opinion leaders or gatekeepers or editors they're just posting all kinds of stuff half of it is is just fake um I got one the other day. It was so funny. I, I read it. It's from CNN. Uh, the doctor who was originally found about the coronavirus uh, was working with chemicals X, Y, Z, A, B, C, and he found out that this and that and this and that. And then it said, in India, we call this tea. If you drink tea three times a day, you'll keep the COVID virus away. They they presented this as a factual uh, you know, and it was it was super long, and I only read it because it was so absurd and so patently fake. And so somebody put uh, that might be fake. Uh, you know, I've given up. I don't even write on there anymore. And then uh, he wrote back, uh, "Well, if you have breakfast for tea, uh, then it doesn't matter if it's fake or not anyway." Wow. Uh, <laughs> Is that a commercial or I lip? Mean, it's. I think what it was was it, it was probably circulated originally by someone of Indian ancestry or descent as a way to feel good. Like, you know, Chinese were doing all this stuff, but really it's just tea. We were, and in India, we, we've always known it as a special tea. That's why we're not getting as sick. Well, that's not true, you know? So anyway, I get these, I guarantee you right now, I've got five on my phone that are completely, and then uh, you'll get a message on SMS don't sp from the government, don't spread fake news during this time. It's, it's really not a good idea. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll get then immediately after that, I'll get five fake news immediately on my WhatsApp group. <laughs> and it's like, uh, uh, I know what kind of tea that was. It's SHI tea. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, the, the thing is, okay. the thing is, one of, one, one of the reasons, yeah. one of the reasons, I mean, yes, yes, Vernon, go ahead. I just wanted to see if this sounded any oh better. much better, much better, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, yeah, anyway, 
um, uh, you know, the um, uh, what I wanted to ask was, how's it going in Kuala Lumpur? What are your numbers? Because I was trying to find it here and I couldn't find. Uh, I heard they were low. Malaysia. Yeah, you know, um, I I don't know. We there's all kinds of different stories, and I'm I'm as perplexed. I read one the other day that said that Malaysia had done a good job. That we we had been we're testing above. Per capita, we're testing above what the U.S. is testing, and Europe, and, and several other countries. So, well, uh, here, you know, here, here are your numbers: uh, seventeen hundred ninety-six confirmed, active fifteen hundred and seventy-seven, recovered one hundred ninety-nine, dead twenty. So while that's better, you're also kind of smaller, you know. Uh, than uh, say the United States. They do have free testing for foreigners now. Um, I can get free testing if I go to a government hospital or I can pay $150 and get it through a drive-through. But I'm not concerned. You know, like you said, Alex, I I think it's highly likely that I had this in January and and passed through it. Um, And so I'm not concerned. I don't care whether a test tells me if I have it or not. I'm okay. I'm isolating till April 14th. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, me too. Oh wait a minute, that's not what we want. Don't they've extended it here, and Just, uh, I'm teaching online, and I'm I'm conducting all my meetings online. I'm fine. That's good. There we go. Okay. Now let's see here. What do we got? Come on, Patrick. There we go. Got Patrick up there. Okay. <laughs> okay. When I have to do this stuff on the run, it, it kind of gets me. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Malaysia. Now, where was it? Where where did I? See, um, there is it, 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 one of the smallest countries in the world is Liechtenstein. Yeah. I have been to Liechtenstein, and the best way to describe it is if you're driving and you blink, you're no longer in Liechtenstein. Okay, it's about a mile, maybe a mile and a half, and you're in and out of Liechtenstein. They've got 51 cases. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know. What's with this royal stuff? You got Prince Albert in Monaco, he's positive. You got Prince Charles, Prince Charles yeah. when he's positive. You know, uh, well, at least he's not a negative kind of guy, but he's positive. And, uh, you know, the, you would think that these guys would have been protected enough and that they got people wiping down stuff mm-hmm. that they would be okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson had it, so, you know. Yeah. One, one of the funny things, I don't know if you've seen this, but I always get a kick. Tom, you know, Tom Hanks and Jessica Alba and some of the other celebrities, they always say, oh, you know, we, we're going to get through this. And we just have to we'll struggle a little bit and, and give up some comforts. And I was thinking that, you know, yeah, in their $12 million homes with, <laughs> they'll have to give up the private chef for a week. <laughs> when you have the flu, you're not comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big the house is. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you're, it doesn't matter if you have your own swimming pool, right? Right. right. Can't go in it. Well, you know, we yeah. had we also had our first kind of famous death from the coronavirus, and that was Terrence McNally, the playwright. Uh, he was 81, and uh, apparently he got it, and bye-bye. That's all she yeah. wrote. What? You know, I saw a Jackson Brown got it, and... Uh, they said Jackson Brown, comma, 71, comma, has that, and you don't see the rest of it. But whenever they put in age, I usually, like Kenny Rogers, 81. You know, yeah. that's, I'm like, oh, no, we lost Jackson Brown. Oh, no, he just has coronavirus. <laughs> oh, by the way, another country, another one you can drive through in about a minute and a half, Andorra. Yeah. 188 cases, one uh-huh. death, wow. uh, 186 uh uh, 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 active and one recovered. So, Andorra is like the fourth smallest country in the world. It, and, it, it, uh, it, wait, is it the fourth or is it the second smallest? I think Liechtenstein, I think, is the smallest, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so. And uh, the what capital about Vatican is City is Andorra. Singapore is pretty small. Yeah. I never heard of Andorra. It's between. It's in the Pyrenees Mountains between Spain and France. Yeah, and, uh, allowed to exist because they used to. Their principal thing was smuggling, and so they were both France and Spain used to use them to uh, avoid taxes. Yeah, 
But for people who are, are watching us right now, uh, here's, here's what the map looks like. There we go. Uh, actually, I should go to the world view of red? it. But, huh? Is it all red? That might be Trump voters. Uh, you it, sure you got the right yeah, map? Yeah, yeah, so it, they're all Trump voters, <laughs> and uh, they're all going to get it. But look, look at the United States over there. Uh, yeah. al almost every, every state is red, okay? Yeah, yeah, all like of Trump. Europe is, is, yeah. is reddened out. They um, like Trump, too. Africa, not so much so. No. South yeah, America, the... not so much so. Um, Canada, <laughs> that's the place to go, you know. Everybody in Canada lives near the U.S. border, uh, very few go up to Manitoba and all of those oh, yeah. Yeah. up north. I mean, it's a refrigerator. And Not in, Alaska. in Fairbanks, Alaska, there are only 10 confirmed no deaths. And hmm. in uh, uh, Anchorage, Alaska, no deaths and 17 confirmed. So there's, it really kind of it's out of the way and it managed to you know keep people away. I think the reason why they say it's so high in New York, and there's a very good reason for why it's so high in New York, uh, is that it um, um, uh, that we have well, we have we had so many people that travel here, you mm -hmm. know, and come into this city from all around the world, and so that before this thing started to get contained, we were we were ground zero for people infecting the city, you know. I. New Yorkers just keep their hands dirty, and uh, because of that, you're spreading the virus, you know, amongst yourselves. Yeah. Now, you, know, uh, you, uh, you don't have it in, in Russia because they kill anybody that gets infected. No, well, they, they also, they're not giving out what their true numbers no. at all. Uh, no, I, I don't believe suited Russia. up today. What? You see Putin suited up today? He su what do you mean he suited up today? He was wearing a hazmat he got suit? up in a suit. Yeah. Uh, you bet he was wearing a hazmat suit, was he, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's what they say. I couldn't see him in there, but he probably he probably wasn't him. <laughs> yeah. But he had chest unbuttoned. Yeah, like, uh, let me see here. Greenland. Yeah, the boobies were showing. Let me see if I can get Greenland to come up here. Yeah, Gre look, Greenland like it too, has only six, all, of, all of Greenland, which is a huge land mass. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, is it a continent or is it considered an island? I think it's an island. Trump, Trump wanted to buy it last year. Well, you know, Trump bought it. It would have reduced our uh, square footage of uh, of cases. Yes. Uh, well, but not really, because they only have six confirmed cases in all of Greenland. Yes, but active if you look four, at the recovered mass, two, and deaths zero. Yeah, but if you look at the land mass, you yeah. know we could have had all that extra square square uh, miles and fewer cases per mile. No, but there's only like 50,000 people on Greenland. Well, that's why they should have sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see here. What else do well, we have? New Orleans supposedly getting a big breakout, too, because of the Mardi Gras. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, and that, that idiot um, a governor they've got down in Florida. Jeez almighty. Oh, jeez. I mean, uh, do shit. See... Jeff was so politically correct that when he coughed, he coughed into his elbow. I, I am very, very impressed that. Uh, I'm you know, trying to learn all these new, uh, yeah, you, new you methods. This, this doesn't count anymore. Now it's. <laughs> no, but what I used to do, what, what I used to do when I put my face in my arm was this. Slow. Vern is hoarding toilet paper. I saw it. <laughs> See, <laughs> he's always hoarding. Just follow. He's flaunting. Oh, oh, did you? <laughs> no, I can't believe you got that. <laughs> hold that up. Hold that up in the center of the screen. Make sure it's, we can see the whole thing because you have you have it over to the side. Move it over a little bit. Move it over a little bit. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. There we go. Fifteen days to slow the spread. What day is this? Ten. Ten. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did Marjorie ever uh, take the subway to work or not? No, no, she's not going to work. She's doing. She's working no. out of out of out of our apartment. Before that, huh? Before, how is she getting to work? 
Uh, she would take, uh, to, uh, to get to work, she would take a uh, car service. Okay. And then uh, coming home, she would take the bus. Okay. You know. Um, you don't want to do either of those things. I don't want to go down into the subway. And I know they're down there. They're steaming them every five seconds, you know. But I don't, I don't want to go down there. That's like a giant Petri dish down there. That's, that's what I think. You know, a friend of mine came back from Fort Lauderdale yesterday, mm -hmm. and he posted a picture of the airport. It was absolutely empty. And he said when he got on the plane, he was going back up to Scarsdale. And he went into Westchester Airport, and the, there were maybe 30 people on the plane. And they were totally spread out. Uh, you know, no one was near one another. Yeah, but you know, you probably, in a way, you're probably safer on an airplane than you are almost on any other form of transportation because that <laughs> yeah. air, the air is recycled and it's filtered yeah. and it goes through HEPA filters. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, you don't want to be sitting next to somebody who's sneezing, you know. Yeah. It'd be best if you had a roll to yourself. Yeah. You know, on that plane they did. But, you know, I was talking about, about, uh, um, 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 YouTube and uh, the fact I'm not going to monetize this show anymore I'm sick of playing that game and the ads they're running now turns out are all are like some right wing ads that really are, are, are the kind of thing that YouTube should be watching out for and they're selling them time well, if you'd stop cursing, maybe you'd get the good ads, you know, like Dr. Schultz foot pads and things like that. You know, the ones that pay a little bit of yeah, money. Yeah, well, anyway, I, I got that. So I just decided to hell with it. I, I don't need to monetize this uh, at all, you know. And screw them. They can go fuck themselves. Most okay. of these and I can say they can go fuck themselves now and not have to worry about not being monetized. Can't skip the wow. ads. Uh, and what they're doing in an initial ad is that they're a video, and you have to wait for the video to play until you can see the thing that no, you no, want to see. No, no, but I, for some reason, I told it not to monetize tonight, okay, uh -huh. the, the live show. And yet, when I went to it, it monetized. It was showing a commercial. I went to it, and somehow it had flipped itself over to monetization. Uh, and you know, I didn't. It's, a, uh, it's too bad. You know, we're going to take the money. Just because they're not monetizing doesn't mean they're going to stop the commercials. Mm -hmm. You want to be on YouTube? You know, they you just won't give you any of the money. Well, you know, I'm just tired of playing the game. Okay, you know, and I, I, I wish I could find another place to do this. As a matter of fact, but you know, and on top of that, it's uh, they have these rules about we we supposedly can't talk about the coronavirus. I, I've never, you know, I know people have mentioned that, but I, I haven't seen anything to that effect on YouTube. Have you received something like an email yeah. from YouTube that yeah. says? Oh, that yeah, yeah, that, 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 that they, that, I think it's that the whole thing is they, what they don't want, and this is right, is they don't want misinformation being spread. But if that includes just if you mention the coronavirus, you're not going to get monetized. That's hmm. terrible. You know, that's horrible. We, we uh, What are we going to talk about here? We're not going to talk about the coronavirus? I mean, come on. It's the most important topic probably of our time. We'll do yeah. like the president well, does and call it the Chinese virus. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just praying that the cure for the coronavirus is carpet fiber. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and if people buy carpet... Then they'll be cured. Yeah. Well, that by the way, that is not to be taken as any kind of medical advice for you people out there. And also, I think it's bourbon. Yeah, your, your listeners would believe that. What was the name of that drug that the president was talking about the other day? That, was it called chloroquine? Was it called? Yeah, it was it? Something like uh, chloroflora, chloro, 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 clean, whatever. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Sanitizes, deodorizes, and washes the floor. Yeah. What well, I mean, you know, he mentions that hey, that might that might cure it, and some guy goes out and swallows a pill that was meant as as a. Uh, oh. Well, how that come he died of it, but his fish don't? That's what I don't understand. Needed to be taken off the face of the earth. Come on, anybody that does that, plus the fact. Uh, hey, and also, uh, also, who should be taken off the face of the earth is the person that encouraged him to do yeah. it. How about the people that eat Tide Pods? 
You know, I mean, you got some really uh, Phil. Low what about is now gone to an all time low where we're going from the coronavirus and this one thing that was fed to fish to Tide Pods? Yes, Patrick. How how was he encouraged to take it? Because the president went on the air and said that it looked like it was very promising as a cure, and they yeah. and, and they had some in their house. Yeah, promising to cure, and he also had a different version of it, and that is not the president's fault. All I'm saying is, for him to endorse uh, any kind of cure, was yeah, a was so it was a bad mistake on his part. No. These guys have have selective hearing skills and they're really good at it. They hear what they want to hear. They don't hear the truth. And that's why people don't understand what Trump is saying, because when he speaks the truth, I can't understand a word he's saying anyway, because he's starting to garble his words. I think he's had a stroke. I really do. I think so too. Well, yes, Patrick, two stroke survivors are going to be running for president. (laughs) Well, that's not Trump at all. If any of us just, do anything because we hear it on TV, that's on us. It's not the fucking television. You know, I mean, that's like watching a goddamn uh, TV show that says this is going to cure this, and then your stupid ass goes and takes it. Well, who the fuck Yeah, but, 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 but Patrick, we're not talking about a, a TV show. We're not talking about... Uh, uh, some kind of, of uh, fiction. We're talking about the president of the United the States endorsing a cure. He said it might, be, it. it might work, and the guy didn't take the same thing as what the president had mentioned. It, was, it, it, it sounded the same, though. It sounded exactly well, the he same. He said it was the right. greatest thing in medicine in history or something That's like that. Not, he what? said, you guys... Where, where do you come up with this? Because fake news? he's the one that I'm always, right. always takes okay. these things and say, "Oh, it's going to be, it's going to, it, it may be the, it may be the way out of this. It's going to be, the, everything's the best, everything's the most in, incredible." Yeah. Uh, well, you're you know, worried about medical advice? Come on, you guys are out in outer space somewhere. I mean, you know, if, if, if I don't listen to him for medical advice, but his, his, his people do. His people do. Yeah, you were saying what kind of dumbass would do what he said to do, and the kind of dumbass is the guy that votes for him. Yes, Patrick. I, are you sure that the Patrick. guy that voted for him is the guy that ate the stuff? Oh, I'm sure he was. Yeah. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it, it's one less shit out there. And I'll tell you what, if the president suggested that sucking cock was a way to cure it, I would not <laughs> Thank God we're not trying to be monetized anymore. <laughs> I'm sure of that. So, you yeah. know, I don't give a shit who says it's a cure. Yes. Uh, 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 our good Kevin. friend Kevin. Yes, Kevin. Actually, the guy's a hero because he's proven that it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank maybe you. One less, one less drug we know that doesn't work. Yeah. Well, maybe it does, and he just didn't eat enough of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe a lighter so we're dose. Fine for about ten minutes. Yeah. How's everything in 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 your neck of the woods, uh, Vernon? I mean, when it comes to uh, uh, this whole thing, you're you're getting by, okay, right? Or have you been out? I'm getting I'm getting by, okay. I mean, I've taken the dog for a walk every day <clears throat> that the weather has permitted when it wasn't pouring down rain. Yeah. Um, they've they've shut down. Uh, a lot of businesses, uh, hair salons, nail salons, things like that. Home Depot's mm-hmm. going to be open on Friday, so I'll be working there. But I'm taking uh, latex gloves with me, and I'm going to change them often. I'm, I might even take an N95 mask with me. I don't know if I'll wear it or not. But, uh, you know, I, I know enough, I think, now, in spite of our president, to protect myself. And I don't think that I'll have any issues. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of weird. Like right now, I feel like I have a little congestion building up here. But then again, we've had pollen so like crazy. Forever. I have no temperature or anything. I have nothing else besides that. Uh, Wait a week, huh? It, 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 you don't get the temperature right away. It's uh, after oh, the really? symptoms. Th- thank you very much, doctor. Yes. <laughs> Well, my 78-year-old mother-in-law works at Home Depot in Cupertino, heavy Asian uh, population, and she's going to work every day. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I bet they. I, I bet at Home Depot. Tell me if I'm right or wrong, um, uh, Vernon. They have N95 masks because they're used a lot for like when you're when you're plastering or you know doing stuff with a lot of dust. They may have gotten stock. They may have gotten resupplied. My store may have gotten resupplied during the past week, but I haven't been there for over a week. Yeah. But the last time I was there, which mm -hmm. was uh, uh, two Sundays ago. Uh, all the shelves were bare. Here, yeah, they haven't had any in stock. Here's at all. here's how how horrible this plague has become. Marjorie went to the supermarket the other day, and she said they had toilet paper there, so I bought us some. And she brought back a thing of toilet paper. She opens it up. It's one ply. Now, I don't know if we can live with one ply tissue. You know, uh, she can't live with one ply. I think maybe I can get by because, you know, I mean, you just roll it over your hand several more times than you do when you normally take it out. But, but that, that was it. Then I went online, and what did I try to buy today? There was something. Oh, she, she, we decided, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll, rather than her going to the market, we'll have the food delivered. So she went mm -hmm. on Amazon to get Whole Foods to deliver us some food. And she, she made up a whole list of stuff she wanted. She wanted chicken. They didn't have chicken, okay? Uh, the, the Roasted chicken. Uh, they didn't have the roasted chicken, but there was a lot of other stuff. And she added it all up, and she said, okay. They said, where do you want it delivered? She said, mm -hmm. And they said, we'll have it there Sunday. <laughs> what? You know, I mean, when you say delivery, uh -huh. we assume three hours, four hours, maybe in a crisis like this tomorrow, but Sunday? And this was on Monday that she ordered it, was going to order it. We didn't order it. Yes. Uh, the, a week. Yeah, we ordered uh, quite a <coughs> bit. It was from Costco, and, and it was uh, very good. Mm -hmm. And they delivered in two hours. Really? And they would tell, they would call you up and say, "Well, we don't have that. Can you, can you take this instead?" Let me see here. Let me get John Larkin in here. Let me hold yeah, on a second. Um, we, I, I had made an order online from a grocery store mm -hmm. uh, on Monday, and this, and this was before the lockdown, and it was supposed to come on Thursday. Well, the lockdown went into effect on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So they sent a message, we're not delivering anything, and you know, eventually we'll get your money back. I still haven't gotten the money back you know, two weeks later, mm -hmm. but um, I thought it was odd because, for first of all, grocery stores are the stores that are supposed to be open, and okay. you're still allowed to get deliveries. In fact, that's a better method to, for them to send a person out than everybody to go there. Right. But the other thing that was odd was that I had to schedule my delivery time, so that I, that makes it doubly strange because it's not as if they they ran out of capacity. They only take one delivery slot for yeah. one hour for one person. So <laughs> I, why they did that, I, I still am perplexed. Wow, but anyway, so uh, you know that 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 was that is those are some of the things we and I won't go to Costco. I I just feel that that's you know. That's a petri, That's dish. petri dish. Yeah? That's a petri dish. Uh, the, the, I, I told you my story of the lady leaning against the thing, sneezing like this with her hands open, just sneezing uh, nonstop. And uh, you know, nobody said anything. She didn't make any effort to leave. You know, she wow. was just standing there like a sneeze factory. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm very careful. I mean, I, how about you, uh, Vernon? Are you careful? Because I mean, they say if you've had cancer, you know, you're subject to it. And you're how old now? You're in your mid sixties. I'm seventy one. You're seventy one. Okay, so you're you know you've got to target a bullet into your head too with this whole thing. Yeah, but my I had my treatments like nine years ago, so. Yeah, I, and I realize mm -hmm. that, but still they would say if you've had cancer or whatever. But, but it, it, you're probably compromised in a few ways. I, and, and uh, you know, so I'm very careful. I'm very, very careful about it. Uh, well, like I say, I'm going to work on Friday, and I'm going to, 
I'm going to take, a, 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 I had bought a box of those latex gloves that you use when you paint. Right. You keep getting paint all over your hands, uh, disposables. And I'm going to stick a wad of those in my pocket and then probably take my N95 mask with me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a bottle of hand sanitizer. You, you'll be fine. I'm sure they have sanitizer there. I'm, I'm sure that as a, if they're a good company, like I hear, for instance, did you have this happen when you went, Phil, to, uh, uh, to Costco that they were they say they're wiping down the ha the bar uh, you know the uh, the handles on the uh, on the carts uh, they uh, they have a cart where you could uh, peel off a uh, piece of towel and uh, then they had uh, some hand sanitizer that you could wipe you you you'd uh, put it you, you sprayed it you sprayed something on the handle and you wiped it and you threw the towel in uh, in the cart. Uh, basket of the cart so uh you know i did that did you do your hands too uh no you should have yeah just you know I, and um um you know who knows who knows but uh anyway i, I mean, went to the drugstore the other day uh alex i went to the mm -hmm. drugstore the other day to pick up something my wife had had uh, refilled mm -hmm. and uh the Walgreens that I went to had blue tape on the floor mm -hmm. so that you had the proper spacing between people. Yeah. And then when you when you went up to the counter, they had two cash lanes and <clears throat> the one one clerk was taking care of both cash lanes. And when she finished with one customer before she would wait on the next customer, she took and put a latex glove on her hand, grabbed a hand sanitizer, wiped mm -hmm. the counter down wiped the uh, stylus and the credit card reader down, mm -hmm. then peeled those off into the garbage can, then moved over to the next register to wait on the next customer, which yeah. allowed that counter then to dry. Yeah. Uh, yeah I had to pick up some meds uh, at Kaiser because these aren't mailable, and uh, I'm not looking forward to going to the pharmacy. I'm thinking about maybe I can go to the discharge pharmacy at like 3 in the morning when no one's there. Well, we have a pharmacy yeah. that hardly ever has anybody in it. It's a, it's a pharmacy only. It's Walgreens community, and it has nothing else in it. It doesn't have a makeup counter or anything like that. just has uh, prescriptions. So there's never a big line there, and uh, I'm, I'm sure they're taking every precaution possible. I'm not wor as worried about that. I'm not even as worried about a hospital, you know. Yeah, I used to go to a guy like that in the hate. He sold hash, marijuana only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, John, uh, how how are things happening there in the tenderloin of San Francisco? Uh, you, have you been out? Uh, I went out for a little while today for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, I, I noticed uh, a lot, lot of the, the major stores are boarding up now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I Maybe know like Union Square. Well, I noticed on television a uh, thing out of San Francisco where it showed Union Square and the places were a lot of the big stores were actually putting wooden boards in front of their... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot of stores are moving out uh, because of uh, uh, the rents and uh, the homeless problem. But, John, I wanted to ask you, uh, now, you live in the heart of uh, the Tenderloin or pretty close to the heart. Are you experiencing the homeless things that they talk about in the news and the feces on the street and the needles and things like that? Are you seeing that in your neighborhood or nearby? <laughs> yeah, it's so, true. It's true. Mm. Cause I don't see it. I go to the city and I don't see any of that stuff. You know, uh, I, you just go walk walk down um, Leavenworth and Turk. Yeah, uh, you're gonna find it. Yeah, it's all over. I mean, they're they're out there on the street right now, drinking and partying. They're, they're but, thinking you know, of changing the name. They're thinking of changing the name of the street to Turd, from Turk. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, so they're not social distancing, and and they're uh, they're just drinking, partying, and pooping, huh? Yeah. Well, the, the, occasionally, the, the cops will drive by and they'll say, "Hey, break it up! You know, maintain, you know, you know, like six feet, you know, of uh, space." And they'll just drive by. Well, those people it. have been living on the streets have probably built up so many antibodies they can't catch anything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh, it, it, are the streets quiet where you are, um, 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 Bree? I mean, are they kind of empty? And uh, Yeah. 
Yeah, they are. They yeah. are very empty. Is there a tough law or rule there that they that you can't? Uh... There is. There is some. Some. You know, I, I guess a lot of people have difficulty understanding what is essential. So yeah. you know, <laughs> that some somebody's essential. You know, might not be another person's essential. Somebody might. I mean, across the street from me, my neighbors have their cars washed every day. So the guys come over and wash their cars. I wouldn't consider that essential. Uh, I mentioned it to the community group manager, but she said, oh, these are the guys who, you know, help to cut the grass and do some odd jobs around the neighborhood. Uh, and I was like, okay, and? You know? <laughs> and so they shouldn't be coming in and they shouldn't be doing stuff. But she didn't see it that way. So, you know, it, it depends on one's definition of essential, I guess. What yeah, I my, what I heard essential. today what I heard today was that in Italy, if you're outside and you don't have a good reason, they can fine you three hundred euros. In in India, they arrest in you. In India, they'll tell them to shoot you. No, no, they they will arrest you if you're out. If you some of them said they would be shot. Really, I saw that, the report. Probably CNN. That would have that would have worked pretty well uh, down there in Miami and Fort Lauderdale on. Uh, with these kids. Uh, yes, Patrick. Yeah, we're, we're threatened with fines and, um, and possibility of police intervention, uh, arrests for gatherings and things like that here. So our governor is a fucking turd anyway. So, um, it, it, nothing is really made clear as mm -hmm. to what is essential, non-essential, any of that, and it's been, as of 8 this morning, we've been on, uh, he's calling it uh, safe at home, mm -hmm. which is basically lockdown, but it's a nice way of saying it. Yeah. And then there's this 16-page deal of who's essential and who's not essential, and then in there it states if you're if in a gathering of more than 10 people, mm -hmm. uh, police can intervene and then if you don't have basically a good enough excuse to be out you could be fined mm -hmm. uh, I highly doubt any of that would happen but the fact that that's even written in is somewhat bizarre to me especially in my area I mean we're Milwaukee is a large area mm -hmm. but it's New York City you know so I mean I realize this shit get passed on, but I think it's a little bit of an overreach that the whole fucking state of Wisconsin is under this, considering a great deal of our state is nothing but, like, Ice. <laughs> forest and shit like that. I mean, the communities we have, we have 72 counties in the state, and a lot of those counties, they have maybe 3,000 people living in them, maybe mm -hmm. 20 is a big one, you know, so, I, you know, so, yeah, we get uh, threatened with fines and arrests here, so. Wow. Yeah, same thing out here. I, I, I don't think we have any fines or arrests here, but what it is is you've got the governor going on the air every day saying, you know, really, stay home. You know, do do your neighbors a favor and stay home. If you do want to go out, keep your distance from somebody else. If you want to go to the park, uh, you know, no playing frisbee or basketball. You know, nothing where you're going to come into contact with people. That you can go out for for fresh air and not worry about it if you keep your distance. You know. I am so paranoid. I don't go out at all because I figure I could just get it by sitting here and keeping the windows open. I mean, I'm that worried about it. So I'm not taking any chances, especially because I just came out of that that operation. You know, I don't I don't want to take any risk. I'm the one that checked all the boxes. I, I got every disease that they got in the thing. I got the diabetes, the high blood pressure, uh, the, uh, the cancer, the, uh, you know, you, uh, you name it, I've had it uh, or have it. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, I mean, so I, I've got a, I've got a I, when I was a kid, I had asthma, and now the pollen season comes along, I have asthma. So that's <laughs> one of the things you can tick off. Uh, you know, I mean, um, that was, what? When my doctor... Uh, I don't know about yours, Alex, but when my doctor saw me, 
I did get prescribed uh, antihistamines. An inhaler? Uh, this was back in January. Well, you know, in general, I, I, is it not correct that if you have a virus, your system sees it and it, it goes crazy, you know, goes for it. And sometimes it could overdo it. So I'm not sure, but an antihistamine might tell your system, hey, uh, you got this, slow down, you don't need to overdo it. And then maybe that works? No. I, know. Uh, I, I can't, I can't. I, for instance, I, 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 I have, uh, there's pollen right now, and I have a, a slight little ch chest mm. congestion, nothing major. But uh, uh, I normally what I would take for it is an antihistamine. But I can't take one right now because it will affect my prostate and make it harder for me to pee than it is already. So I can't take mm. anything like an antihistamine, at least... It for the next couple of months. So I have to suffer through whatever I get, is what I'm saying here. So, but, you know. Can anything like uh, uh, steam uh, help you? I don't really? know. I haven't even thought about that. It's not that bad, so I'm not that worried about it. Now, here, here, here's a question I have. We, we have uh, the, uh, our um, uh, Congress is passing a, a bill uh, for, what, $2 trillion, is it? Yeah, two point two. A two point two trillion dollar. Where are we getting that money from, by the way? It's probably going to come from Medicare, someplace like that. We want that. China to there's forget. A, there's a printer out there. Running the printing press. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to manufacture it. It's going to manufacture it. So, uh, I, I guess he's just added two trillion dollars more to the debt. You know what I love yep. about this is. This is the Republicans becoming socialists. I really yeah. think this is wonderful. They're handing everybody out money. This is a war. And are you going to take the check or are you just going to send it back? I don't think I'm getting one. Marjorie might get one. No, I'm not going to send it back. Are you kidding me? After a certain amount, they give you the check. I'm going to, if I get a check, I'm going to send it to whoever's running against Trump. How's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, I found uh, I found something today in, in my drawer that I thought was uh, interesting. What's that? Uh, Undale Ferraro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember that one? That, yeah. that, that 1983. <laughs> well, what everybody's saying now, I mentioned this earlier, what everybody's saying now is draft uh, um, um, uh, what, Cuomo. Cover. Uh, which, uh, you know, quite frankly, if, uh, in, under any other circumstances, I would say this is a good idea because this guy could just beat the pants off of Trump right now. But I don't think he would do it because he, he would just say, listen, I've got a job to do in keeping this state safe, and I'm, I don't have time to run for president at this point. Yes. Or Gump. Patrick. Do a job than uh, Cuomo. Patrick. Patrick. Uh, I I would just beg everybody not to, because that goddamn convention is in my city, and the Bernie <laughs> people are burning this motherfucker to the ground. <laughs> and I, I still like living here, so let's not do anything like that. Oh, is it in your well, town? If they burn it to the ground, it'll be warmer. Well, that's true. That's Milwaukee this year. It gets, it, um, it gets warmer. Japan. If it gets warmer, the virus will just go away. The only advantage that Trump has in this whole deal is that nobody's listening to either Bernie or Biden right now, but yeah. he's on the air every day, and he does like two hours. He does like a Castro-length speech. And you know? half of it is patting himself on the back. Oh, you, oh yeah. today he was doing it. It was, you know, it, it always had to have, he always has to say something that like makes him look good. You know, and he's it's not about hours. you any longer, Donald. It's about the country. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Patrick. Yes. Uh, I think it's Larkin, excuse me. I've seen um, Biden doing his pretend uh, uh, conferences about what he would do if mm -hmm. he was president. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody cares. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like you said, he and Bernie aren't getting any time no. uh, regardless of, of trump being on the air the, mm -hmm. the virus is taking control of that so right to our, our they're like afterthought and as you said with cuomo i get his shit here in in wisconsin i mean not live but 
So he's getting more airtime. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, because MSNBC oh. is running it. So and CNN is running it. So and I I don't know Fox may be running them too. Uh, what, by, by the way, let me just ask yeah. you, what's yeah. your impression of Cuomo, the way he's handling this? Fantastic, Patrick. I, I think it, I think it's doing quite well with um, not, not being overly dramatic one way or the other. Mm -hmm. It's not playing it up as if we're all going to fucking die here in New York, you know. But it's also not taking a blasé uh, approach where it's nothing to worry about. So I, I think it's. I think it's very much like any of us would be talking to other people about what is going right, on. You right. know, I mean, there might be some that are a little wrapped up more than others, but no, I, I, I think for the most part, I would rather have him as my governor than the clown I have now. So, Not mm -hmm. if you want guns. Well, yeah, I, I would have them anyway. So you know, it, it'd have to come into the house and get them. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see here. Where, 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 where oh, wow. we? Oh, it's, uh, so my, my question is now, with, with all of this, we, we, we have the government now ready to pass out money to us, two, two trillion dollars. Do you guys feel this is being well spent? Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I haven't seen the plan yet. Well, let, let me ask well, you this. It, no, it, it, the corporations are going to get all the money, and the, the, the small business people are going to have to stand in line, you know? Yeah. It's, the big corporations will get all the money. I want an answer to a question. Why the airlines? You know, why the exactly. cruise ships? Who gives yeah. a damn about them? The fact is that these airlines, for the last couple of years, have been making a fortune off of just our luggage. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and, and so far as the cruise ships are concerned, they've been floating Petri dishes for years. You if know. you can't see it, Vernon's had his hand up for a while. Oh, Vernon. Okay, let's go to Vernon. I, I thought I saw his hand up, and then I thought I saw his hand down. Is your is your hand up, Vernon? No. Yeah, I haven't fallen asleep. Oh, okay. Vernon, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vernon. No, we were talking a while ago about the conventions, and I have serious doubts whether there will be a political convention for either the Democrats or the Republicans this year. So yeah. online. We yeah. Can only Trump will just stay in. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, 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 let me go to uh, John, and then we'll go to Patrick. John? Yeah. Um, it, if, if they have a debate between Trump and Biden, um, I think it would be good without an audience because, tr you know, Trump without an audience is, is just an idiot, you know. So, you know, he, he can't. If he's got an audience and in a debate, he's just going to stand up there, you know, and, and pull his pants down and shit, you know. <laughs> but without an audience, he'll, 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 he'll just be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Patrick. Um, I mean, in my own mind, regarding the airlines and the cruise uh, lines, mm -hmm. the concern that I would have is if they don't help them out, just the same as we helped GM out in that, uh, years ago, and what about the workers? Will they have a company to come back to work to if they have a business? And that is, to me, a bigger issue is we have so many people unemployed now, and then if we have businesses go out of business, literally, where do those people go? Where are the jobs for them? I mean, Harley Davidson has closed down in Milwaukee, and we've got all of these people out of work. Now, assumably, Harley will be able to get back on its feet, but when you've got airlines, and especially the cruise ship, all of those thousands and thousands of workers, where do they go? Mm -hmm. Okay, Here's well, okay. Thing, though, Patrick, oh. those, those people that work on the cruise ships, do not pay not U.S. American. taxes. Those cruise That's ships are not are not flagged in the United States, and therefore they do not pay U.S. taxes. And so, they therefore, they shouldn't be they shouldn't taxes. they shouldn't be bailed out with our money. 
There's right. thousands of hotel rooms. There's thousands of people that are support for the food services. All of these things are support for these these cruise ships, and they're vital. Phil, Phil, after this is all over, you don't think those cruise ships are going to be back in business? Uh, no. Oh, no, oh they're going to go. They're going to go broke. They're going to have to sink all the fleet. I see. Uh, Kevin. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Is are we are we saying that these companies are running so tooth and uh, skin and tooth that that this this amount of time they're going to go under? They're not they're not uh, stable enough to run without this amount of time that they don't have enough built up that they could run this amount of time and then recover. It's also I think that they should be they should be looked at, at, at on an individual basis and see if they can recover or not. And then bail them out if they need it. But if they don't need it, then fuck them. You know. You know if they if they need help, okay, they need help. But not across the board. Everybody gets it. But the, the way our system works is if that if they have a big lobbying group and they've paid off enough senators and Congress people, they'll get the votes. Yeah, but that's BS. You know, if if that's how it works. If somebody like let's use an example of Marriott's been making millions and millions of dollars and they've got a big, you know pile of money sitting behind them and they can make it through this mm -hmm. and then come back and rehire all their workers but they're still going to get a five billion dollar bailout screw them yeah the, the bailout Why? is supposed to go to employee salaries and if they don't it doesn't pay, matter if they've got enough money to cover it when they come back why should I, they get it they no they don't have to cover it if it goes to salaries then it will be forgiven if if uh, if the money Phil, goes, that isn't what the money is supposed to go to. It's supposed to go to subsidize the I'm airlines and to subsidize these cruise ships for not being in play right now. That's why I believe they wanted the oversight so that shit like that can't happen. Is yeah, that well, right? And they don't want I don't know. to buy their own stock back with the money and all yeah, these well, other bonuses that. to executives. That's bullshit. That's yeah. bullshit right An there. Executive uh, bonuses. bonuses. No. And uh, yeah, I, I think somebody also put a provision in there. Enough. I, I think there was also a provision put in there, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, uh, the, the Trump organization can't get any of it. That's right. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. You know, if a company has built itself up enough that it's supposed to survive, you know, like we all are supposed to have six months of money in the bank in case something happens. Oh. Why can't, yeah, right. Why can't a company do the same thing? Supposedly this they is have just, six months worth of money in the bank. Oh, if they got six months worth of money in the bank, oh, they can't touch that shit. We got to go for a bailout? Bullshit. Supposedly this just came over the wire, according to Tyson's Acosta, and that is it was passed. So well, I'm sure it was, yeah. They got it, they got it done. It, it, it was passed by the House? I think it was so passed, now, period. Yeah, uh, it's it was supposed Senate to go to the House and then to the Senate paid. again. Yeah. Yeah, and then after the Senate, because there's some people in the Senate, like uh, Ron Ron Paul and, uh, uh, you know, a few of those guys that uh, are keeping, uh, may keep it from passing. Well, it, what Ron Paul can't go to the Senate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rand Paul. Uh, Rand Paul. Rand Paul. Rand Paul. Rand Paul can't did go. See, did you see uh, at the oh, press I conference, did. was it yesterday, when somebody said that uh, Mitt Romney got the, uh, got the, may have the coronavirus and, and Trump smirked? Oh, that's too yeah. bad. Ha. Oh, no. And then somebody asked him, was that a smart ass comment you made? Did you see that? No, I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said that. It was like, yeah. oh, you son of a bitch. This is, I, I just, I can't, I just, I don't know. Okay. I couldn't believe it when he said that. He goes, oh, that's really too bad. Uh, not so really. Now someone's inflection is, is something that you condemn. The guy says, No, if you too saw bad. it, Phil, you would have and said the same thing if you saw clear. it. Take it at face value. Uh, nah, you, it's, clear. You know, Phil, oh, come on. It's too bad. Well, he why why do you always have to excuse every lame brain thing it, this guy does? We have to accuse Trump of everything wrong in this world. It's if the you same saw it, you would have said the same damn thing. I'm yeah. sorry. It, it was a low class thing he did. Just his attitude. Well, he's from Queens. Uh, that, that's his <laughs> everyday Trump. True. So am I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one thing that I heard, Alex, the yeah. one thing that I heard yeah. that yes. was included. Yeah. Wait, Vernon, Vernon, yes, Vernon. 
What? One thing that I heard that was I included, thanks to, thanks to Chuck Schumer, is that it won't be the Secretary of the Treasury deciding who gets that $500 billion for the corporations. It's going to be a committee of five people, including an inspector general. Very good. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, and but that, that's about, the same thing they the, did with the last thing in, you know, back in 2008. They had the same thing, essentially. But, you know, yeah. they, the, they're, they're still going to – it's going to be a scam. Uh, the Green New Deal money and, uh, you know, the uh, the arts and the Kennedy Center and all of these other things that uh, they threw in to uh, to bail out. The Senate uh, has passed it. Yeah. The Senate has passed So now it goes to Trump. Yeah. yeah. It goes to He's Trump for, said he'll for, sign it. for that big ass signature of his, that very stylized. Oh, yeah. He signature. said he was going to have a celebration and a, and a big ceremony. Oh yeah, really? He, What's he going to spell and spend? A half a trillion yeah. dollars on a party? Have a ceremony for? Yeah. <laughs> a signing ceremony. And you you give each guy a sharpie. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pass around a a, a flute of uh, champagne for everybody to take a sip of. <laughs> <laughs> have a tank for you. There's 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 Kevin doing his Donald Trump showing the signature. You know. <laughs> 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 but it's it's more like you fold it out and you hold it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got papers in there. Spill. Want... Yeah, you didn't want to spill them. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, I, you know, I mean, I don't know how much how much this is going to help. I, I I think the idea that I heard, and I don't know if this is the way it's going to play itself out. The best way for it to be is that for everybody who's out of work right now, they should be able to go to their states and get a hundred percent of their salary. Uh, as uh, you know, uh, what? Uh, what? Mnuchin. Mnuchin said that no, the I, they couldn't figure out what that would have been because, like, the unemployment computers he said was like 35 years old, and they said it was just logistically not going to happen. That's why they were going to give each person. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the the best idea to me would be to pay everybody the salary they would have gotten and and reimburse the states for the money. That, you know, that would have been, I think, the best idea. But that's just me, and what do I know? I'm just a lonely little old talk show host on a flagging podcast. Quickly, Patrick. Well, the state of Wisconsin, we have a rainy day fund, they call it, and we've got several uh, hundred million dollars in it, and I think that that should be used for the workers in the state of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And not nothing get repaid back. That mm. that money that was taken through taxes and that that has been set aside. So Patrick, I think we're gonna build another sports arena. My other question, my other oh, big my other big uh, my other big question would be, and this is a quick one, but you know, I mean my wife for instance is working from home. She's making her full salary. Does she get the money? Yeah. Yes, I think it's based uh, on the right? Yeah, I, who knows? Uh, we'll we'll find out. If you get a check, let me know. Okay. Hey, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Vernon. Always great to see you. Always great to see you, Bree. Uh, 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 to our good friend uh, Patrick. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, and uh, of course, uh, 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 our newest uh, <laughs> acquisition, John Larkin, from San Francisco. Hey. Hey. You get a check. You get a check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all of you, give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there we go. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. There'll be another citizen panel convening next uh, with uh, Jack Bishop and the, uh, the intersection. Uh, so give him a call, okay? And uh, we'll be back here again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>